I'm Tom Silver, I'm hypnotist Tom Silver, and I want to show you, you know, a lot of these stage hypnotists are saying this body rigidity, body catalepsy test is a proof that someone's hypnotized. And I want to prove to everyone around the world that if you want to do it, you can do this, this test and technique and be successful, and you don't have to be in hypnosis. Anyone could do it, and it doesn't prove that you're hypnotized. It's almost like a scam. It's almost like these different hypnotists are using you and conning you to believe that you are deeply hypnotized when you do this body catalepsy test and you have someone stand on their body. Right here I've got with me Bob. Now Bob is not hypnotized. He is in a complete conscious waking state and I'm going to have him show you without any hypnotic suggestions that he can perform this technique and anyone who concentrates can perform this technique. Bob, what I'd like you to do is I want you to place yourself here in this chair. We're not going to pretend to hypnotize you. We're not going to tell your body that you're, you're stiff and rigid, but I want you, your eyes are open, I want you just to allow your body to, to just tighten up your body consciously. Your eyes are open, right Bob? Yes. You're not hypnotized, I'm are you? I'm not hypnotized. Okay, and I have people here witnessing this. Okay, Rhoda, I want you to stand right here. I want you to stand on this chair. Just stand on this chair right here. Okay. okay. I want you to come over to this side, Jim. Okay. In a moment, we're going to have Rhoda stand on Bob's body. Bob is not hypnotized at all. To prove to everyone you do not have to be hypnotized, this is a scam, it's a lie, it's not truthful. That does not determine anyone is hypnotized, because hypnosis is brainwave technology and science. It's not standing on a person's body to prove they were hypnotized. There's no catalepsy or any of that other uh, hocus pocus, you know, fallacy. The truth is anyone could perform this technique. Okay, Bob, are we ready to do this I technique? Am. Okay, excellent. Rhoda, yes. what I want you to do is I want you to place one foot right here. Just one foot right there, okay? And I want you to place another foot right here on Bob. Right there on Bob. And I want us to let go of Bob. Let's let go. Bob, are you hypnotized at all? I am not. And you're holding her up, right? I am. Right? Yes. You're holding her up. I am. And she's not, and you're not hypnotized. I am not. Proving, ladies and gentlemen, that you do not have to be in a state of hypnosis to do this test. That you do not have to be hypnotized to do this test. Rhoda, you are standing on him, yes, right? Yes, I am. All right, and you are standing on him. Bob, are you able to hold her up right now? I am. Now? Okay, you even lifted your head up. Yes. So you, are you hypnotized? I am not. Look at the camera. Are you I hypnotized? am not hypnotized. Okay, great. Rhoda, I want you to step off Bob. Okay, stay right there, okay. Bob. Okay, now you've been able to prove this technique. Let's try it with you, okay? Okay. Yeah, shoes off. Yeah, sho you can leave your shoes on. Bob, I want you just to sit yourself back up now. Real quickly, sit yourself up. And again, tell the people in the camera, were you hypnotized? I was not hypnotized. And you were able to hold her up? Yes. So when people use this body rigidity to show someone's hypnotized, is that a crock? Is that There's a, a crock. I mean, I wasn't hypnotized. And... Uh, okay, I want you to lie down here. I want you to you lie down here. This? Yeah, I want you to do this. You can do it. Because anyone could do it if you just concentrate on doing okay. it. Okay? You're no different than anyone else, and, and you could be doing this technique. Okay, let's rest your head back a little yeah. further. Go ahead. And pull okay, up. right there. Okay, so I want you to just to straighten your body up. I want you just to concentrate on tightening your body. That's all you have to do. Just concentrate on your stomach muscles and your legs being tight. Just to, you can even tighten the muscles, just like yeah, what you normally do. Rhoda, come over here. Okay. Now, are you hypnotized at all right now, no. Jim? No. Okay. So you're just tightening your up your glutes. It's just this, just legs, just gymnastics, glutes. basically. Yes. Okay. Rhoda, I want Bob over here. Come on over here to help He's me like put four. Rhoda. Okay. Put Rhoda, put one foot up here. Okay, just tighten your body now. Just tighten, tighten your body tighten, consciously. Step on me. Put one foot there. Okay, now I want to let go of Rhoda. Let go of Rhoda. Now you're holding her up, aren't no you, Jim? No problem. No problem. Is it easy? Is it really that difficult? No. Okay, hold her up. Hold her up. I'm going to make sure we have the camera on, on her. The, the camera's, camera's on her. Okay, and again, I want you, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you able to hold her up, Jim? Yes. Okay, not that big of a deal. No, so when people say that they're, someone's hypnotized standing on the body, that's not really the truth. Rhoda, you're there, you're I'm there here now, and you're all, attached. right, and you're there, <laughs> let go of her, let go of her, Bob, let go of her. She's standing on this person who is in the waking state who is not hypnotized. Is that true, Jim? That's correct. Okay, so I want people to see this, this body rigidity test is not a test of hypnosis at all. It's just another scam that hypnotists use to try to prove that someone's hypnotized. Okay, let's take her off, just take her off. Okay, now I want you just to let yourself stand up. Okay, good. And, um, okay, just stand up. And I want you to look at the camera right now. Look at the camera, and I want to ask you a few questions as you're looking at the camera. Okay. Okay, look at the camera. Were you in hypnosis just then? No. 
Your eyes were open, you're completely awake, right? Yes. Were you holding her up because you just tightened your body? Absolutely. All right, so do you think that this is a proof that, you, that, you, that someone is hypnotized by doing this demonstration? Absolutely not. Right, so... Um, it's natural as soon as I got coaching about what is flexing my muscles. Anyone can do that. Anyone can do it? Yeah. It's not a sign of hypnosis? No. So somebody, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right here. Come over here, Bob, stay right here. Stay right here, Jim. Come right here, Bob. Okay, let's look at the camera. Some hypnotists telling their subjects or telling the people in the audience because they're doing a stage show or they're, just, or they're doing a, a training course and they stand on a person's body to prove they were hypnotized. Do you think now, now that you've seen that, do you really think that's proof? No. no, it's not. It's not proof. No. Right. And why would you say it's not proof, Bob? Because this is, I mean, I've actually done this uh, long without any hypnosis, just doing this kind of stuff, just in terms of training and everything, just to test my own body, you know, to strengthen core. It's good core exercise. Right. And your eyes were open and you weren't yeah, hypnotized. Yeah, I wasn't hypnotized and it was very easy. Were you hypnotized? So what do you want to I, say? I'm not hypnotized at all and, I'm, and I had no idea what was going to happen here and I was kind of... <laughs> up on her to have, have been at first, but as soon as I flexed my muscles and I was relaxed and I just went with it, you know, didn't feel like there was more than 60, 70 pounds on me, really. So you were able to hold her up? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So it was a, the mental thing first, I had no idea what was going to happen, and all of a sudden, well. Yep, and I'm Tom Silver, I am a hypnotherapist, a clinical hypnotherapist, I'd like to introduce my friend here. Bob Cho, I'm also a hip hypnotherapist. Right, and I'd like to introduce my other friend. Hi, I'm Jim Pommy. Yeah, and we're all hypnotherapists, and we are demonstrational hypnotists, but we wanted to prove to every one of you, even you people on YouTube, yeah. and to all of your stage hypnotists, and the ones in Beijing, China, and around the world that say the body rigidity test is proves someone's hypnotized, is a crock, and it's not the truth. Right, guys? You're right. That's false. Oh, that's exactly right. All right. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Rhoda, for participating. You're welcome. But what's even more amazing is our difference in height. Mm -hmm. And you still was able to do that. This is even tougher, and you know, obviously, you, you wasn't hypnotized. You just just did it. Right. You were able to to do the same thing that I did, yeah. even though I'm shorter. For me, I didn't doubt you because of how physically fit you are in yeah. your state of focus, awareness mm -hmm. when the um, activity was going on. Like you say, you've done. And it, and, it, and it was easy for me. Yeah. I. But you I, coming out like this <laughs> and still able to do that and just did it like right right exactly. off the bat, right the last second. Yeah. That was amazing. I had that, no idea yeah. that was going to happen to me. I appreciate your coaching. All I did was tighten my muscles and listen to what you said. And, and once I had that tight then, you know, it was simple, but as yeah. you're stating and doing these things, it's, it's true. Yeah, and your eyes were open and you were talking to us, yeah. and you were not at all in a state of hypnosis. Correct. Did they look hypnotized no. to you, Rhoda? Did at not? all. No. Come over here, just for a quick second. Okay. Just, everyone stay right here. What did it feel like standing on their body? Did it feel like they were, it was a strong and, and secure place? What did it feel yeah, like to you? Yeah, it felt strong and secure. Yeah? Yeah. And, and what do you think about doing that? Did they were they hypnotized to you? No, at them? absolutely not. No, I was talking to them. They were totally not hypnotized. So we did the body rigidity, the uh -huh. body catalepsy, stepping on the person's body, uh -huh. and the person was not in the state of hypnosis absolutely, at all. Absolutely, absolutely not yeah. in the state of hypnosis. So if someone was to say to you now that if I show this demonstration, that's proof that someone is really in real deep hypnosis, would you think that's a crock of bull? Crock. Right. Would yeah. you guys think well, that's well, a obviously? Well, yes. Tom, why don't you yes. lay down right here and we'll have her stand up. Oh. Well, no, that's a good idea. I've only got a minute left on the clock in there. I really do. But I just wanted okay. to see this. I wanted to expose the fact that the body catalepsy and rigidity does not mean anything except the person is just concentrated on tightening their that's muscles. True. Right? Correct. That's all it was. Correct. Yeah, just like if you're lifting weights or you're doing, right. what do you exactly. call it, when they tighten your muscles? What do you call it? The physical exercise of tightening muscles and stuff like that, what you do? Well, actually, I like to use the example of the old Charles Atlas courses. He used to use a thing called dynamic tension, where he would actually tense up his muscles. Right. So, and that's more of that rigidity thing versus just lifting uh, you know, your weight. So he, using dynamic tension throughout this whole body, that's all you needed. He tightened his muscle. And so all they did is tighten their muscles. That's it. Just like if you're lifting weights, you're tightening muscles. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys. Okay. Thanks. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. Good job. Excellent, man. Excellent.